Okay guys, as soon as my phone stops rocking back and forth, I'm going to give this a try again. I tried to do this a minute ago in the living room, however, it was driving me crazy because I couldn't stop it from shaking. I've had a few people ask me how to make this. I'm calling it a file folder journal while I'm waiting to see if anybody's up at this crazy early time in the morning. I'm going to try to find the live feed and click on it so I can see if you guys say anything. I'm hoping to get this video done, but I got to leave here in about 30 minutes, 45, kind of at the latest. So who knows? I always think doing these projects are going to be quicker than they are. So I'm not going to hang out for too long. As soon as I can get it pulled up on Facebook, we'll go ahead and start. There was one thing I forgot to mention in my list of things we need. Oh, I don't have a circle punch. So I just used anything I can find to trace a circle. And I forgot my pen. So I'll grab a pen here in just a second. I found us. Okay, I found me. Crap, what did I do? Crafting out loud. I clicked on some on another group. Alright. Attempt again to find it because I'm not sure where it went now. It disappeared. This isn't necessarily the best start ever. Woohoo, found us again. Alright, mute myself because who wants to hear myself echo? I said mute. Ugh. Again, see, it was my own voice telling me to mute. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a pen and then we'll get started. All right. So, here's what we're going to be making. And I am making, I'm going to have to sit more over here, I'm making a cover for this, so, let's see, this is measuring six and nine sixteenths, <laughs> if we want to get really precise, so I'm going to do my finished book. At, let's do let's do six and fifteen sixteenths. I probably will not get that close because this will be the last time I measure. And then let's see. This is about three and three quarters, so two of them is six, seven and a half, I think. But I'll do it about another eighth bigger. Alright, I'm getting rid of having a ruler because I don't want to measure. I don't like measuring. I measure on videos mostly for you guys in case you want to do it exactly the same. But who really wants to do that? So what I'm going to do just lay this down, just kind of mark where my things are, my thingy bobbies are, high tech word usage. Now before I start cutting, I want to leave some on here for the flap over. And what I did here, and I'll do here again, is just basically eyeball it. 
and then trim it down if it's too big afterwards. So, um, going where the seam is in the folder. If I didn't do it that way, I could probably get away with <clears throat> using less material. But let's face it, I'm not usually that functional, especially at 8 o'clock in the morning. But Constance wanted to do a cooking class, so we are off to do that this morning. So... enough for a flap and you see this is where my original book came to so I'm going to yeah see I measured this but that's not what I'm using I'm using this at this point <laughs> so yay at least I caught myself because I'm gonna change up my sides I told you I don't function very well in the morning So the height will work. I'll just have to cut that down a little bit. Oh, forget it. I'm just making a different sized one. And my phone's making noises at me. So since this side will flap up, I want to come in and I'm going to cut this one half of it a little bit closer to this line. I still want to leave a little bit of an overhang. So now we look like something like this. Hey Kelly. So we look something in this room. On this one I did stitching all the way around it. I'm not going to on here because well I don't want for you guys to have to sit here and listen to a sewing machine the whole time. You don't have to do this part, but I like to. I feel like it just gives a little bit more of a finished look. And it probably doesn't, but I like round corners, so that's what we're going to go with. And I'm sure that at this current moment, I have this completely in your way. So, this part will flop down. Flop. Flop, flop, flop. I guess I should say fold. That sounds better. Is this one going to be big enough for my pocket? Yeah, I guess so. I'll use that for my pocket. It's not quite as tall as I want it to be. Alright, I'm not using that for my pocket. Haha, uh -huh, just joking. I'll make a new one. I'm so attempting for this not to be an hour long video. This isn't going to cut anything because I don't have a cover deal on that. But I'm going to use that to score here in a moment. Maybe if I can convince myself to be good and actually score something. So I just trim that part off. And this is easier if you go through and cut all these tabs off the folder to begin with. But that it just does not sound like a good plan to me. Alright. So we got that. That's going to go there. Since I have the writing here. And I don't necessarily want to go through and cover it with something. I'm going to make just a straight pocket across there to kind of cover that up.
And Kelly, you know I wing everything. We fake it till we make it. Ooh, someone else is sneaking in here. They're hiding. Creeper alert. Okay. So at this point, if you were going to do the sewn version, I would sew across here and down this line so that when you glue it on here, you have the two pockets already sewn in. Woohoo, fancy, fancy. And I'm going to distress the bugger out of this. I think that size flap looks okay, so I'm not going to worry about adjusting it. You guys all like my high-tech work surface here? Yeah, it's a Dollar Tree um, cutting board. But I'm really bad about cleaning up boards after I get done using them. So at least at this way, at least this way, I can throw it away once I cut into it or any of that stuff. Yes, I have the nice boards that you're supposed to use. Yeah, I don't blame you. Sewing isn't for me either. But clean up is even less for me as I always complain that I need to clean my house and don't get that far. All right, I'm going to, on the one I did, I actually used a different type of folder that was a little bit darker. And you could stain this, like coffee stain it if you wanted to. You could use cardstock. I don't know why I used a folder on this. It's not like you have to. Yes, I am the dictator of all things craft, and you must do exactly what I say. My kids would probably say that that's right, but we're not giving them a voice. We're not telling them that they can say that. So usually, unless I'm doing a very, I guess, formal journal and want it to look really good, I don't really usually go through and score it. Okay, there you go. Unless I'm doing a hardcover. I don't go through and usually score or give it a, a spine. I usually just fold it over. So what I'm going to do is try to find that piece of paper that I cut. That's going to go like that right there. I'm not going to put this one in yet because I don't know where my flappy padoo do is going to go and I don't want to have to figure that out yet. My flappy padoo do. That is like the coolest word ever. I say we use that word. It'll be our secret crap word. But I don't remember what it was already. My flop, flappy padoo do or something like that. Yes, I woke up with my husband when he went to work this morning, so I'm weirder, weirder than normal. I don't know if that's possible. I'm weirder than my normal? I don't know. Oh, look, it even distressed. Oh, darn it. Kelly, why didn't you yell at me to do that? Kelly and our stalker mystery friend. I don't know who's my stalker, but you know I'm going to go and look to see who viewed it. And then I'm going to be like, oh, it was so-and-so. You're the creeper in the room. Okay. Oh, look, I'm even going to be good and use my score tool. Because... Yeah, I usually use my nail or the back of... <laughs> it's so not your fault that I forgot to do that. Okay.
The other thing I do, unless, again, it's really, usually I don't mark out where I'm going to put my holes for my signatures, unless I got multiples of them, and I want it to be spread across cross evenly and all that good stuff. Hey, Kelly, I bought a piece of paper over here with me. Do you know what I did with it? Oh, I found it. Alright. Because I haven't cut down the papers that I wanted to put in here, and... I also didn't make this the right size for the papers that I had. I brought just a blank piece of paper that we're going to act like is my signature. Yes, I am going to fake something. Go figure. wide I want my paper. We're going to go over there and cutty my doodle. I really do not like this cutting thing at all because it doesn't really have any measurements on it. However, my big cutter on crack would take up most of my uh, work area for the camera so I just mark where I'm gonna cut and then eyeball it we are gonna wing it go figure oh we found this doctor in the room yeah so you're watching me fudge this at the moment All right, did I say out loud that I usually don't mark my holes for sewing in a signature, or did I just think it? If not, I guess we'll go with the fact that I didn't say it. My stringy won't go through the hole. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, so I picked up some of that wax thread one time because everybody says how great it is and how much they love it. I didn't love it at all. Usually I use either Baker's Twine or I really like using embroidery floss because you get all the different colors. All right, so I'm going to go about halfway. Poke a hole through. Yeah, we'll say right about there, poke a hole through. Right about there, poke the hole through. All right, our holy thingies are done. Get off of my string. So I just went from the inside out, <clears throat> then from the outside back in again I'm pretty sure this one's called the pamphlet stitchy but I don't know someone will tell me if I'm right or wrong that or just point and laugh I like pointing and laughing I'm gonna go back through here Back through the middle hole. Tie my very technical knot. All right. So I've inserted my fake signature. Now what I'm gonna do is just basically fold over. My flappy madappy. 
try to keep it in place since I didn't I brought that other cutter over to use as scoreboard and I didn't want to do that all right so let's get on to this part yeah okay good enough because I have like no hole punches no circle punch yeah circle punch And potentially a pen of a pen that doesn't want to write, but it did. I'm going to do one bigger one and then one smaller one. And yes, I get to cut this out by hand. Kelly, you know how much I love cutting things out. But the smaller one doesn't really matter. Did I say that out loud? Yeah, it really doesn't matter. So just get it somewhat right. You're not going to see it. We're just going to use it as a spacer for the string to go behind the big one. All right, so this one does matter a little bit more. But as I can't cut on the line, and I can't color on the line, or color in the lines, but I can't cut on the line. Maybe that's why I distress everything, because then you don't notice it as bad. I don't like how big this is. So I'm going to trim this down just a little bit more. Yep, obviously I am not very good at eyeballing a circle, but good enough. Okay, so I bought one of these tacky glues that have that lid that keeps it upside down. The only problem is, and I don't know how I managed to do it, I lost the lid for it. <laughs> oh! Like seriously, okay. I'm just gonna put a generous dollop of glue, put this down somewhere kind of in the middle. Pew, pew, pew. And all I'm gonna do is kind of work it around to make sure it stays where I want it to. Distress your little circle thingy if you want to. And Kelly, I don't know what part of this, because you're one that wanted to see this. Am I covering whatever part of it you were wanting to see? I don't know. I didn't really feel like this was anything real noteworthy. So I don't know what it was that you wanted to see besides my charming voice. Okay. Got my eyelets, my little fancy doodad that goes at the back of the eyelet, which no, you don't have to use these at all. I usually don't. However, when I bought this, it came with these little eyelets, and I thought I would sound fancy while you were on here. I uh, thank you, girls. All right, so my crop a dial. I'm guessing you guys probably both have one. If not, what I used for the longest time was if you go, well one, I used a leather punch from Harbor Freight, like a cheap tool place. All I'm going to do is punch a hole for my eyelet, kind of center of this. And I got a leather punch for my circle, my holes. I'm going to mark that first. And then at Joann's, yeah, I'm po almost positive it was Joann's, they had a eyelet set. I believe it was like the three 
what is this, three and three sixteenth size. It was an eyelet, but it also had this like eyelet set thing that you had a hammer in. But I used that for a really long time. And it worked really well. That is a lot thicker than what I would want there, but we're still, we're gonna wing it. We're gonna say that looks awesome. That's what we're going with. The bigger, the better, right? So now I'm gonna come in here and pop a hole. Line it up somewhere in the right room. So now that'll sit there. The greatest part about these little back things that go on the eyelet, they're really annoying to set on here because you have to set them down in the right direction and I can't keep a hold of them because I don't know if that's showing up. I guess I can set it down there. There's kind of a smooth side and a rougher, more hollow outside. Yeah, that's what we're going to go with. And if I was smart, I'd glue this down first. I'm going to act like I'm doing it. Morning, Rhonda. You're watching me fake things. I woke up and my shoulder wasn't killing me. So I figured I'd go ahead and try to record this real quick. Alright. So yeah. I'm going to glue this down first. If not, I have a feeling I'm going to be chasing it all over the place. Get my little eyelet thingy to go in the hole. I don't know if I finished today in that. So if you do these little back things, you have a rounder side and then another one that's more of a valley. You want the valley part upside down in here and yes you have to try to get it on one of those little hoops and it's annoying muscles okay so it looks like that I'm going to take my handy dandy baker's twiny thing and probably <clears throat> cut up, cut off 10 times more than what I need. So I found the one thing that's kind of a pain with doing this is... Hey guys, don't glue that. Don't glue this flat thing down to here. Yeah, don't glue that because what I'm going to do is go underneath it with the twine. So that was so one of those don't do what I just did. But that doesn't really matter at this moment. Okay, so for me, one of the more annoying things with this was trying to keep this part up so that I could wrap the twine around it. I found that if when I put the twine on, I kind of did a square knot under. I don't remember if that was over or under, so whatever, I'm going to do it again. And then I want to just kind of wrap it just a little bit because then that lifts my circle up. And sometimes you have to kind of fuss with it, make sure it looks the way you want it to. And since I don't want that gap right there, I'm going to put another little tie in it. So, now that I've gone that far, because I forgot about the other pocket doodle that 
I don't know where I put it. All right, we're gonna fake it again. We're gonna act like this was the size we wanted it to be. Since we now know where our flap's gonna come in at, I'm gonna cut off this little wannabe round thing. I guess I'll, that's not gonna help me at all corner round. I guess I'm gonna corner round this part that'll be this part of my pocket. Distress because it hides everything. At least in my fantasy world, it hides everything. Rhonda, I've talked to you about my fantasy world. Where it's unicorns and we can eat all the candy and soda and sugar that we want. And we'll still say, stay in supermodel shape. Okay, not current day supermodel shape. They're way too skinny. Okay. Anyways, that's going to go there. And no one noticed that this pocket's a little bigger than... Yeah, no one noticed that. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bead of glue... Right about there. Oh, look how fancy. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm going to actually use a tool. I may also be a tool. <laughs> okay. We're going to cover up the fact that I didn't cut it right. So at this point, if you were going to do the sewing around like I did, you would have already sewn this edge of your pocket, and you would have sewn this edge of your pocket. Before you sew in your signature, you would sew all the way around your outside. Did I sew anywhere else? I think it was just my outside. Yeah. And I guess you could sew up the spine or up the back of your floppy. But I didn't. I distressed the outside of here when I was talking to you guys. So now I go around and distress all of my inside edges. And then I would sew my signature in. So now what you got is a... I didn't cut 2 million lengths of twine. So now it's not as long as I want it to be. Okay. So it, maybe it doesn't have to wrap around three times. So, there you guys go. Your Americon. <laughs> All right. Well, there you guys go. I'm going to jump off unless you guys have any more questions. And go to a cooking class. Well, go watch a cooking class. Buy some tomatoes so I can make some salsa. Any questions? Okay, any questions that I may have the answer to? Because there's a lot of crap I don't have the answer to. Alright, well I'm going to assume you don't. So bye everybody.